YouTube, Topaz J10. I got a pretty good show lined up for you today, man. Folks, we're gonna jump into the news. Then we're gonna jump into this review for this new Rick Ross feature Nas track. Then we're gonna jump into an article from downloadpaz.com. But before then, this to a brief instrumental from underground producer Cashville Live. done bought up a new streaming service and shit that I've never heard of called Audio and shit, in which they bought them up for 75 million damn dollars, which shows you how much money is actually in this shit that a unknown kind of streaming service got bought up for this damn much. And this is why as artists you have to pay attention to the news because these streaming services are streaming people shit for damn near free, they're not paying people that damn much for millions of fucking streams. This is why you need to go out and get what's yours because there's a lot of money in that shit that they aren't paying you. But anyway, on to today's review. And today's review is to that Rick Ross, One of Us featuring Nas. And you know, just as I made a review saying that Rick Ross only makes a handful of fucking types of tracks, dude, he comes out with something new, different, and fucking dope. This track is on that level that as soon as the CD quality comes out, you need to purchase this motherfucker. That's how good this shit is. Like, Nas is going the fuck in on this. Rick Ross is doing his thing on it too. It's kind of interesting how they came together and did such a damn good track. The beat is fucking phenomenal. I definitely recommend this one. It was released on Funkmaster Flex show and such where he's dropping bombs and all of that bullshit on it. But definitely go peek that shit out now and as soon as it drops, man, cop that motherfucker because it is that damn good. But anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPads.com. And today's article is about rappers being too fucking trusting. Because this is the type of shit that gets us fucked up in the game, man. Like, you guys are way too trusting of this music industry empire and shit because they're just coming to you giving you all of this money that you have to fucking pay back. Quit assuming that you being a successful rapper is the end game and shit. Like, just because you are good and successful making money and they can be good and successful making money doesn't mean that that's how this shit happens. See, the way the industry looks at you, dog is, okay, after the first album, we don't have to promote him no more because most likely that's his going to be his most successful project. So trusting in these people to continue to promote you, to actually guide you the right damn direction, it's fucking false because after the first project, they'll throw you away for the next person. they rather use you for what you're worth than throw you the fuck away, my dude. So do not trust them. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to downloadpads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.